Well, uh, let's invite Manoj Muralidhar of Relegate Securities uh, as well to this discussion. Uh, Manoj, uh, how would you handle the Nifty today? Uh, good morning, Lata. Uh, uh, Lata, um, I guess uh, even last time, you know, we keep on discussing the same thing. The Nifty and Bank Nifty has to align if there is a trend to emerge. And, you know, most importantly, if you see the month of May, uh, the Nifty fluctuation was around 500 odd points, you know, right from 8,000 to 8,500. And the Bank Nifty was also at 5, 600 odd points. And we know the value of Bank Nifty is twice as that of Nifty. So obviously, there is a reverse arbitrage that is going on in the market since uh, first week of April. Now, reverse arbitrage is when you sell in the cash market and you buy in the stock future. So that buying which was seen in the stock future was what we saw during this expiry the last couple of days. But the selling is what we are seeing and that is exactly why the bank Nifty has fallen so much with respect to what the Nifty has done. So now ideally if you see FIs always have a tendency to change their instrument of trade. If you see yesterday also, you know, the weighted average price for in terms of dollar is somewhere close to a 63.78 if you uh, take May expiry into account. And Nifty futures, the most interesting thing is we are not seeing any huge addition of shorts. If you see the uh, intraday or the daily change in open interest is hardly 1 or 3 or percent. But if you look in the bank Nifty, it's a good 20 percent, 22 percent. So what we're trying to say here is... Uh, Nifty future, ideally for FI, it's an instrument to hedge your position. So that is that there is something called as a hedge ratio which works in. They have bought 8,200 call option for yesterday's trade precisely from around 1, 130 onwards. If you look into the way the IVs have shaped up and the wicks at 17.7 does not necessarily say that we're going on the downside. Yes, there is the bottom is still to be made, but even the downside is limited. I feel there is a pullback which would come in Nifty at least a 90 or points. The best strategy is, uh, you know, we're expecting 8110 to maybe an 8210 on future. This is the range that we're expecting in uh, today possible or a couple of days. The best strategy is you buy an 81.50 call option, 135, keep a stop loss 98, and we expect around 190 rupees on that. Okay, let's talk about some of your stock ideas. Uh, it's interesting that yesterday the telecom space bucked the trend. Sudarshan was telling us that one should buy Bharti today. You have a buy on Idea Cellular as well. Uh, what kind of targets are you ascribing to that stock? Uh, yes, Sonia. Sonia, it's not uh, only yesterday. If you see the entire month of uh, May, right from, I guess, the first week, you know, 7th or 9th or, you know, with telecom is one sector where there is cash-based buying which is happening. And the most important, what I'm trying to say here is, if you remember the month of April, pharma has been bleeding. We are seeing the money come out of pharma. The banks are not really seeing cash-based buying. The money which has come sensibly has come more into the cement as a sector, some into IT and telecom is what we have seen off lately. So I guess, yes, it's a buy as well. So idea uh, is what uh, we recommend to buy 175 uh, is what the current month uh, future is staring at. The stop loss should be 169 and we expect close to 184 rupees as a target on that. Okay. Uh, well, uh, how would you trade the, uh, on the bank Nifty itself? Is there a trade, uh, Manoj? Uh, let us see, most important, as I always say, you know, the U.S. 10-year yield and your India 10-year yield, and there is a ratio which decides the liquidity that comes into the Indian markets. And we all know that the Indian equity and debt is at a ratio of 1 is to 1.6. Now, uh, this, uh, if you see the cross-country bond uh, yields, you know, that is at 3.67, and the bottom is somewhere close to 3.37. So, more or less, uh, the bank safety has got some pain, but in the short term, that is, I'm saying in the next couple of days, we are expecting the bounce to come all the way to a 1.8020. You know, that's the way average price we are expecting the bank nifty to bounce uh, the you know i would be more confident once we see the 63.78 on dollar once we see the rupee strengthening beyond that you know you would actually see that bounce come in so let's say uh, 16 uh, sorry 17700 so 17600 as a stop loss you can buy bank nifty the target should be 18020 on future this is a short term bounce that we are expecting on banks and nifty as well all right uh, then let me come to some of your bank stocks you have an hdfc bank as a buy that is correct, Lata. Uh, HDFC Bank at 1010 is a buy, and uh, the stop loss we recommend here is 996, and the target is 1028. Now, let me tell you if you remember when the bank Nifty was at 19,000 odd levels, the bank uh, HDFC Bank had a low of 980 odd. You know, so it is not necessary that the stocks and the index both bottom out at the same time. We have actually seen good buying which has come into HDFC Bank. There is a uh, reversal in this buying which is happening, and we are expecting the stock future to culminate, and this cash based buying which is going, going on since the last month. That can take HDFC to 1028, so that's the target we have on HDFC Bank. All right.